So everybody knows that the Switch is selling. The Switch is selling like crazy. Well over, I believe, 3 million units were sold as of right now. The Switch basically is outselling every single thing it could throw at it. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, phenomenal game. One of the best selling games on the Switch right now. But it still hasn't stopped the haters from talking about how underpowered the Switch is compared to the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X that's coming out. And it hasn't stopped the haters from talking about how underpowered the Switch is from the base PS4 and Xbox One. Now we have third-party developers saying that they refuse to work with Nintendo because of the fact that the Switch is below their standard. It's so underpowered that it's not even worth porting games over to because they're just not going to run. Now, oh my God, like what is wrong with these stuff? The developers really are, you know, are they in Sony and Microsoft pockets? Really, are 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 they in? The, you know, is Sony and Microsoft paying them under the table secretly, sending them secret donations and money? Because honestly, look at the Nintendo Wii, severely underpowered compared to Sony's PlayStation Three and Microsoft's Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, but yet it had almost two thousand titles. It had so much titles, you couldn't know what to do with it. You didn't know what game to buy because the Wii had so much titles. Now, I was reading this article. I have a link to the article in the description, but THQ Nordic, a side branch of THQ, actually released a statement saying that why they are not going to support the Nintendo Switch and why they're not going to try to port over games to the Nintendo Switch. And right here is exact quotes. I'm not even going to paraphrase it. Exact quotes. We have been in touch with Nintendo about Switch for more than a year. So we have been looking at it for our current lineup and we look wherever it's possible. It's a bit sad that they have not gone out with a more beefy hardware, but it is what it is. So we just have to work our way around it. I mean, is it laziness? Is it laziness? I mean, really, is it so hard to create a game for the Switch? I mean, we're not talking about ports. Obviously, they are talking about porting their current lineup, but don't stop at ports. What happened to creativity? innovation revolutionizing the gaming industry why not make a game for the switch i mean really instead of focusing on ports why don't you just set a few people aside and okay you guys are going to try to make a game exclusively for the switch or create a new game what if that new game you know becomes their next big franchises who knows but they're only focusing on ports. I mean, really? I mean, THQ as a whole been supporting Nintendo for years, for years, and they created a lot of games for the for the for Nintendo consoles. So why is their side branch having so much trouble with the Nintendo Switch? I mean, honestly, the Switch has potential. Ah, I mean, it could run Unreal Engine 4, the full-blown version. You know, so that says a lot about the Switch's cap capabilities. And, you know, ooh, Ubisoft had trouble with the Nintendo Switch, but they made it work. They made it work. And I believe they're a much larger company than actually THQ Nordic. So if Ubisoft could work with Nintendo and make a game for the, for the Nintendo Switch, why can't THQ Nordic just stop worrying about ports and just make a game for the Nintendo Switch and maybe later on port it to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 Pro, you know, and with enhanced graphics, whatever the case may be. Why not do it with the Switch? Just make a new game, guys. Now we have another studio. Now this studio I have never even heard of in my life. I actually had to Google them. I actually had to Google them because I had no idea they existed, but... We have another studio called Asobo Studios. Yes, I know. You know, um, weird name, yeah. But apparently they said that the Switch is so underpowered that they cannot make their game run on it. 
And here's what they had to say. No, I will not lie by just saying power, he said. It's really the power of the device. In this case, it was the amount of rats we need to display. We already know that there's too many rats, too many animations, too many AI at the same time. And if we want to give justice to, it's like there is a large bridge between it, the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, X, and PS4 Pro. It was too hard to make the same game in such a different context. I mean, really? I mean, their game really that they're talking about is a play tale and it's about rats. I have no idea more about the game. I'm going to have to look it up, but it's basically about rats either eating or man eating rats or a plague of rats or zombie rats, something like that. But apparently the amount of rats they have to render, they have to put on a screen is too much for the Switch to handle. Do they really need that much rats? I mean, really, do they really need that much rats? I mean, I'm watching a short video now and it seems kind of valid because they have a lot, a lot of rats on the screen and they have a lot of rats animating. But once again, once again, it begs the question, why ports? Why can't they just set a few people aside and make a game for the Switch that properly utilizes the Switch's hardware. Once again, I understand from a business ass point, they want their game out to as many consoles as they can because of it, it will maximize their profits because with all of their games and all different consoles, they'll maximize the profits. But why don't they make a game for the Switch? Why only focus on ports? This is what I do not understand from developers right now. I'm not trying to be a Nintendo fanboy. I'm trying to be realistic here. I'm trying to understand them that why they are only focus, focusing on ports, on porting their current lineup and their previous lineup. Why not focus on creating new games for, for the Switch and then port it off to the other consoles? It shouldn't be that hard really, to make games for the Switch. If companies can make great, fantastic games for cell phones and tablets that look amazing, feel amazing, and play great with the weird touchscreen, I'm pretty sure if developers really wanted to, they could make games for the Switch and not just come up with this BS that the Switch is just so weak that we can't make games for it. So once again, guys, what do you think about this video? Comment below. Do you think these developers are right? Do you think I'm just a Nintendo fanboy at, at this moment defending the Switch? Comment below, guys. Comment below. Share your opinions. Like. Share this video. Once again, thank you, everybody, for supporting my channel. And as always, have an awesome day.